Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick review of the Homeworks Candy Cane Martini Candle. This is a four wick candle that I found at my local home goods and I'm going to go ahead and review it for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what I think of this one, then just keep watching. So like I said, I did pick this one up at Home Goods. It was $16.99, which I think is a great deal. I honestly really love finding the Homeworks candles at um, local Home Goods or Marshalls TJ Maxx stores because I think it's so much better than having to pay full, one full price and then two shipping costs. I really, ooh, I don't like it. And I can't smell the candle in stores when I order it online, obviously. Um, but Candy Cane Martini right here. I love this glorious label. You've got little martinis all around with a candy cane rim on them. And then candy canes all over the packaging. It was white wax. I'm pretty much finished with this candle. So I burned the whole thing. I'm sorry about the train in the background, but I burned through this entire candle. And so I think I can give you guys a really good review. So first off, let's talk about the wicks. The wicks did really well. You can tell right here that they all pulled out completely evenly. It burned amazingly. I would say it did get some mushroom tops, but not always. Um, you can actually see right here that a few of them have some mushroom tops, but a few of them don't. So I think it's just a standard wick, honestly. Um, sometimes you have to trim them and sometimes you don't, but the wax definitely pulled out evenly and performed really well. The notes on Candy Cane Martini are Sweet Peppermint, Frozen Vanilla, Candy Cane Swirl, and Vanilla Orchid. So as far as the strength on this one, I would give it a 5 out of 10. I definitely don't think it is super strong, but that could just be the peppermint. Honestly, most of the peppermint candles that I've tried before are not super strong besides uh, Peppermint Sugar Cookie from Bath & Body Works. That is the strongest peppermint scent that I've ever tried. And I would say that one's like an 8 out of 10, maybe a 7 out of 10. But this one definitely was a 5 out of 10. I burned it in my open concept, which was, it's basically my dining room, living room, and kitchen all in one floor. And it still performed pretty well. I definitely could smell it. It wasn't too strong though. I went nose blind to it pretty quickly. But if I like went upstairs and came back down, I definitely could smell it. So it was a really good um, scent for over there. I probably would prefer to have burned it like in the bedroom. It would have performed a lot, lot better, but I really enjoyed it downstairs because I burned it in tandem with crushed candy canes from Bath and Body Works. And those two together were absolutely perfect complements of each other. So let's get into the like scent overall of this one. I would definitely say it was a strong, um, peppermint and soft vanilla there was like that vanilla orchid kind of made it a little more elevated than let's say a peppermint marshmallow from bath and body works it wasn't quite edible i think that vanilla orchid note made it a little more sophisticated and high class than just like a candy cane scent it definitely had more of like a peppermint essential oil scent rather than just straight up candy candy canes um that vanilla was definitely there i think it's more of like a frosted um kind of nip at your nose vanilla and peppermint it definitely would have cleared up my sinuses had they been you know full or you know i had pressure or something it definitely would have helped but i definitely got more of like a peppermint essential oil um more so than a candy cane so i would say the most strong note out of this was that essential oil peppermint and then kind of wafting in the background was a sweet candy like vanilla but that essential peppermint that bites at your nose was definitely the first thing that you smell out of this one and for anyone who is curious um this was made in vietnam so i know there's been a few different ways that the homeworks candles have been made you guys will have to let me know down below when they started making them in vietnam or when they stopped um i don't actually know when this one came out. I believe it came out last year, but I only started following Homeworks Candles last year in 2021. So it could have been before that, but the first time I had ever seen this was in 2021. So I'm pretty sure that's when it was from. But I definitely have to say for $17.99 or $16.99, ooh, I don't remember what I said. Um, it was definitely a really good scent and I enjoyed it a lot. I think I would potentially buy it again. Um, 
but honestly, I feel like I like Crushed Candy Cane from Bath & Body Works and right behind me actually Peppermint Marshmallow better than I like this one. But it was really nice to burn those two together downstairs, the Crushed Candy Cane and then the Candy Cane Martini. They really worked well together and they kind of amplified each other's scent. So it made it more of like a seven out of 10 than a five. I did really enjoy it. It burned amazingly. I found myself reaching for it a lot. It was a really nice peppermint scent for December and I did really enjoy it. So if you can get your hands on this one for a good deal, I definitely would say to buy it, but I wouldn't rush out to the store to get another one. So that is my review of Candy Cane Martini. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know down below if you have tried this one before and if you know what year it's from, because I am very curious if you guys know that. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.